Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Mobile Zombies video. So this is a bit of a follow up video to my prior video. As you guys know, we got a new teaser released showing that the Primus crew are going to be returning to the game. Now we have seen them in the past as skins. In fact, even in the comic series for the game, Tank Dempsey was killed by Mace from Modern Warfare. However, I believe a different version of Primus is somehow returning from an alternative multiverse. But yeah, none of this storyline is canon to the Cold War Zombie storyline or anything like that. Call of Duty Mobile is basically just fan service. A good way to think of it is this game is basically like fan theories because the people who are working on the storyline are completely separate to the people who are writing the story for Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare etc. So this storyline is all just basically fan service where they've mashed all of the previous Call of Duties together into one big collaborative game. So yeah, this isn't affecting Cold War Zombies' storyline at all. Primus are unfortunately dead. They are gone. They are never returning. It is the end of the line for them. And you can't even really explain that maybe the Call of Duty Mobile Zombies storyline is taking place prior to Tag the Toten in an alternative multiverse during one of the cycles because of the fact that the Dark Aether is seemingly the exact same version of the Dark Aether that we see in Cold War Zombies. And after Tag the Toten, the Dark Aether seemingly melted from World Ice into water and it even has all of the jellyfish within the dark ether and stuff like that which is just like what we saw within the first outbreak easter egg where we sent the operation inversion missiles into the pacific ocean and that sent the jellyfish in there and that is why they are within the dark ether so yeah this is a completely unrelated story to the main storyline so we actually got a new teaser today saying who awaits on the other side and we see a dark ether portal with premise in the middle specifically we see premise Miss Richtofen and Dempsey and then we see a Dark Aether Breach in the sky and this is on the Battle Royale map in Call of Duty Mobile so basically there's a new zombie siege mode coming and I believe it's going to be somewhat similar to Outbreak within Cold War Zombies where there's going to be different missions and objectives to do and it's going to be played on Call of Duty Mobile's Battle Royale map and I'm really looking forward to this. We did receive some preview images for this mode and we can see some of the objectives and we can also see the Transit Dive section because the diner is one of the points of interest on the Battle Royale map. But yeah, I'm wondering whether this mode is going to be somewhat similar to Outbreak, but it's not going to have different regions and instead you're just going to be able to play on the full Battle Royale map. I'm really looking forward to this mode. In preparation for this mode, Dark Aether Crystals have started appearing in the Battle Royale map and although we are going to be seeing this new mode, I believe they are going to be bringing back Shinonuma like we saw previously and probably also Nagzorunt totem that might potentially be some sort of alternative version of a D-Machina. So I'm really looking forward to what the future of Call of Duty Mobile holds, especially when within the alpha version of the game they had a full-on remake of Transit, but it was just objective-based and there was different missions and objectives and boss fights to fight, so I'm hoping we could see the proper version of Transit introduced to the game at some point. And although this is a mobile game, I'm definitely going to re-download Call of Duty Mobile to try it out because honestly I haven't even touched the game since Zombies was removed from the game ages ago and the developers have had a bunch of time to prepare for zombies returning, so I'm really happy about that. Anyways, I'm going to play this transmission for you right now from Primus returning. Soldier, meet us at the new location. This is our last chance. Your memories of other fragmented universes seem to be overlapping. Damn, the continuity of time and space has been irrevocably disturbed. Someone must be here. So yeah, like I said earlier, it does seem like within the storyline, they are basically an alternative version of Primus from another multiverse, but this is just completely separate to the Dark Aether storyline that we are experiencing in Cold War Zombies. I've already made a whole video talking about all of the perks and other stuff that I will leave a link to down in this video's description if you want to go ahead and check that out. There's going to be a new Dark Aether Crystal camo coming to the game as well, which is basically just Dark Aether from Cold War Zombies. I really wonder how extensive the storyline is 
going to be for this zombies mode because even though it isn't canon it's still really interesting to see what they come up with because within the Brazilian store we have the new icon for the game where we do see Sam and Ghost Riley on the left but there is an undead zombified version of Rick Toffin on the right with glowing blue eyes obviously because when he is in control of the zombies the zombie eyes are blue so I do imagine that there's probably going to be a full-on easter egg within this new outbreak styled mode and probably there's going to be a new easter egg on Shino Numa and stuff like that that might actually involve undead premise Rick Toffin especially if they are going to be having some sort of remake of D Machina which this icon seems to suggest might be the case and by the way like you heard within that clip of premise we hear all of premise apart from Takio unfortunately due to his voice actor Tom Kane suffering from a stroke I made a video on this a while ago and I donated all of the money from that video to a stroke charity and I do know that he is recovering pretty well his relatives have been posting about him on social media but obviously due to that unfortunate experience that he had to endure he is just probably not able to do his line of work I really do hope that he makes great progress and I do wonder whether they're just not going to have Takio present or whether they are just going to reuse old voice lines and by the way thanks to Benate's Gamer for sending me this but Primus Richtofen's model within the game does have blood vials so I'm sure this doesn't really mean much because of the fact that they've probably just ripped the model from the game and you know it's probably not going to tie into the storyline but I do wonder whether the blood vials might play into the Call of Duty Mobile Zombies' storyline. Anyways that's everything I wanted to go over today. Let me know all of your thoughts on this down in the comment section down below as always. Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways thank you for watching and uh, bye.